Craig Tire Company has been a family-run business for over 30 years and has two locations. While John Craig grew up in the business and learned a great deal from his father, he was unprepared to run the entire operation when his father passed away unexpectedly. After a few years, John found that the business was running him rather than he was running the business. John knew he needed some help, but he didn't know where to turn until a business expert rolled into his tire business to offer his expertise to get the business back on track, put John back in control, and preserve both the legacy of John's father and the future of Craig Tire Company. What are the insights you gain from the business analysis? The insight that I got from this analysis, Tom, is when your man came to me, I was feeling overwhelmed but I didn't feel like I needed his assistance. And what had happened was my father, it was me and my mom and my dad. It was a family owned business. We'd all worked together for many years. My dad passed away in 07 and my mom was trying to retire. It was kind of leaving me in a position where I was in it by myself. And I knew, like I say, I was in need of assistance. Your analyst came in, he sat down with me. He spent a little time talking to me about your systems and, and different types of procedures and stuff that you guys work with. That was the information that I needed. I asked him, I still was skeptical of the situation, so I asked him to leave. He did leave for a little bit, came back, sat down with me again, and the second time we spent about four or five hours talking about all the different systems and procedures that needed to be put into place, and he was just feeding me tidbits of information, and the information he was giving me was making really good sense to me. Um, that's kind of when the light bulb came on and I decided that I needed help and you guys had the help that I needed. How did the consultants help you improve your business operations? The business was running me. I was working long hours, long days, long weeks. They gave me the opportunity to see how their systems could bring all the information that I required or I needed to me up front, real time, and allow me to make the decisions I needed to control my business instead of my business controlling me. I was thankful for the fact that they had the resources and the ability to give me the information that I needed. And as far as my operations go, it considerably shortened my downtime, increased my productivity, and made me feel a lot more confident and a lot better about what I'm doing today than I was previous to them coming in. The consultant that, um, that worked with us totally immersed himself in our business. Uh, he found out things about our employees, uh, about our customers, about our community, about our suppliers, uh, about our competitors, and he was able to give us uh, some insightful ideas that uh, were tailored specifically for our company and uh, uh, we, we never felt pressured as far as implementing uh, certain ideas. We would brainstorm, we would come up with some kinds of, of workable solutions and then he would help us implement them. And uh, I think that having that outside, that, that a uh, person outside our company, outside our family, uh, looking in gave us, gave us the perspective we needed to make some critical changes. How do the consultants help you improve the productivity of your employees? I felt like I had a productive company and what they brought to my attention is that my productivity was way down, which was costing me a lot of time and a lot of money. They essentially gave me the controls that I needed to effectively manage my employees, but also increase their productivity. And they did that through multiple channels. One of them being a compensation plan, which was a gain sharing plan that they had brought to my attention. And it was something I had thought about many times in the past. I just didn't know how to get it set up. They knew how to set it up and they helped me do it, which from the management side of things, for lack of a better word, it allowed my employees to have some skin in the game. You know, they got, to, they got to make a little for what they produced, which gave them the incentive to produce. 
and took a lot of the stress and strain off of me and allowed us to achieve goals and uh, achieve a higher standard, basically raise the bar across the board. How did you benefit from the cost controls the consultants installed in your business? I benefited from the cost controls in, in many different ways, primarily in the fact that it allowed me in my purchasing and on my buying side of things to be more aware of what's going on in the market in the industry, um, allowed my people to be more on top of that stuff. What they did long term for me on the financial side was give me flash reports and give me information that before I would have had to go to multiple sources to retain that information. And they showed me how to put it all together on one report and who needed to do it because it wasn't me, but which one of my people needed to provide me with that report, which gave me all the crucial information I needed to run my business on one flash report. Um, I look at it every Monday. It tells me where I'm at for the week, where I'm at for the month, and where I'm at for the year. By establishing the goals and then giving me that report, I can gauge where I'm at and where I need to be. And it made my life a lot easier. How did the consultants help you get ready for the upswing in the economy? They gave us the ability to control our sales, our marketing, um, our purchasing. Gave us the ability with cost control measures to succeed, whether there's an upswing in the economy, the economy maintains, or, or regardless of what the economy does, I feel like we got a strong foothold for the future. Gave us the ability to look for opportunities in expansion, in moving forward. What would you say to a business owner who's considering using our analytical and consulting services to improve his business? I would say that, you know, I'm one of the biggest skeptics in the world. There's 20 people a day trying to sell me something I don't need, basically a snake oil salesman. Because of my fear and my skepticism in the market and the industry, I threw him out. And it took his persistence to make me aware of the fact that I needed him. He didn't need me. And what I would say to another business owner considering using this service is that the only mistake I made was not using it sooner. Tom, that's an easy question to answer because I've already done that with several businesses uh, that are local in this area. Uh, and I explained to them they're resourceful, they're knowledgeable, and they bring all of that to the table. Their consultant worked through, start to finish, uh, any ideas that were presented, whether they were presented by us or by him. And we brainstormed, we came up with devices to adequately implement the idea, and it was only at that point that that information went into the notebook. Okay, so that in the end we ended up with a notebook, but it was full of his ideas and our ideas uh, that make uh, the company and the approach unique. Describe to me what your business was like before you brought in our team of business experts and how it has changed for the better today. I was at the point in my career where I was feeling very insecure. I was making decisions that were blind. Um, I was not functional and I was not functioning well. I was working a lot of hours to achieve very little as far as goals. Um, I was overwhelmed. It has put me back in control, and back in the driver's seat, allowed me to run a more productive operation with considerably less man hours and considerable amounts of control. 30 years ago, uh, my husband and I started Craig Tire Company, and my son has always played a very active part, even from a very young age, in uh, decisions and that sort of thing that go on within our company. Uh, and my husband always had the last word on everything. It was his company, so to speak. And I think when he all of a sudden died in 2007, he wasn't there to consult with. He wasn't there to ask questions of. And I think that 
at that point, J.R. stepped in and uh, was trying very hard to manage his dad's tire companies. And we went through all of these different things, all of these different steps, phases. Um, uh, the company, in a sense, became uniquely John's, my son's, company so that he was no longer managing dad's company, he was managing his companies. And he was able to manage them at a much higher level, uh, do a lot uh, as far as critical decision making, and um, it gave him a lot more self-confidence and uh, it enabled him to um, see the direction that the company was actually headed in and make decisions. And uh, I think that took a lot of pressure off me too because uh, I no longer had to wonder if something happened to me tomorrow, like with my husband, what would JR do? He'll be fine. He'll, he will continue to implement and grow. I have no doubt of that.